So roughly about 100,000 in attendance a week at Adelaide. So can you help us understand, you know, here in Canada, even North America, the Aussies don't seem to care about the politics of golf in the same way that maybe North Americans do because they seem to embrace live a little quicker. You know, what's the reasoning kind of behind that, you think? Yeah, that, that's a that's a interesting point, right? And, and even last year, I was I spent a lot of last year just standing beside people and asking them where they're from and you know who they like and what they're doing here. And um, did the same this year. I kind of make a you know a habit of it because I'm just curious myself, right? So I don't have deep, long running you know allegiances with any particular tour. I just like particular players and you know, whatever tour they're on, I'll follow them. So I, I'm a little bit neutral territory. Um, but, you know, Australia has, you know, a, a solid cohort of PGA Tour hardcores, no doubt about it at all. What's interesting is they show up and they watch live. Um, and I was standing beside a couple of, you know, 75-year-old chaps yesterday on the side of the 11th, and one was wearing... One was wearing a um, a master's cap. I think it was like, I don't know what it was, 2001 or something. And the other chap was wearing a Ryder Cup from, I couldn't pick out the year. It wasn't a recent one. And we just got chatting and, you know, they they grew up through those, you know, fantastic PGA Tour years and uh, they've travelled the world to watch golf. Um, and I picked out sort of the hats pretty quickly and I sort of made the provocative comment like I said, oh, how are you going watching this? <laughs> and they said, look, you know, it's it's world class golfers uh, on a you know great golf course, and we'll, we'll show up and watch that every day of the week. So I think um, even those um, that that do have strong allegiance um, to the PGA Tour, um, golf is golf, um, and I think because you know we're we're here and we're not in the US. I think there's a, a little bit more, I'll, I'll probably say open-mindedness. You know, it's a provocative comment, right? Um, around this sort of situation we're in at the moment, more so because Australia has been somewhat starved of, you know, world-class golf. And and look, I go to the, I went to the Australian Open last summer. I went to the um, Australia PGA in my home uh, town of Brisbane at Royal Queensland. So I, I go to, I go to all of those um, and you'll find typically, you know, golf fans of all colours um, starting to show up. So um, over here, I think, um, you know, it, it's it's more about watching great golf 